In this lesson, we are going to install Babel transpiler for converting ES6 code in backend to S5, which can be run on Node.js. What we want to get at the end of this lesson is to write ES6 version of JavaScript code in the backend. As you see right here in the server.js, the style that we are going to import the stuff is based on common JS, which is in ES5 version. But what we are looking to do is to convert that to the import export version, which is for ES6. It's exactly what we use in the front end part using import instead of using require. To implement this, we are going to use Babel transpiler. First of all, I'm going to remove all instance of terminals and open a new terminal in the root folder and install some packages. These packages are on the development side. So I use dash D parameter to install them as a dev dependency. At sign Babel core, at sign Babel CLI, at sign Babel node, and Babel slash preset dash ENV. And it should be install, not start. After installing these packages, it's time to create .babel rc file. This file is configuration for Babel transpiler. Right click in the root folder, create new file, put .babel rc. The format of this file is JSON. So create query braces inside that presets is an array of array, an array of array. The first parameter is going to be at sign Babel slash preset dash env. It's exactly like this one preset dot env. And the second configuration is an object. And inside this object, I set targets to node and the version of node is current. That's the setting for using Babel in our project. Next step, I'm going to install Nodemon. Nodemon is very similar to Node. It just run your JavaScript file. But the difference is when you create a change in your code, it just rerun your Node application automatically. You don't need to stop and start it again and again when you have a change in your code. Let's install that npm install dash d nodemon. After installing nodemon, it's time to update start command in the script section of package.json. We want to update this. There is no need to have node backend slash server.js and instead of this we are going to use nodemon and babel the command is gonna be nodemon dash dash watch here i'm introducing the folder that nodemon need to watch for sure it should watch the backend folder so i type backend here and the second parameter is exec it means that while Nodemon watching this folder, what command should be run when there is a change in this folder? Here, I'm going to use Babel node. Babel dash node. It's like node, but the difference is it automatically transfer ES6 code to S5 and run it on the node runtime. This command need a JavaScript file to run. So, the entry point of my backend is server.js. It should be backend slash server.js. Save the file and in the terminal run npm start. That's it. We just created the server and if you command click or control click on it, and go to address API slash products. 
you will get the result. So the node server works. At the end of this lesson, I'm going to convert server.js ES5 require to ES6 import module. So instead of this line, I'm going to use this import express from express. If you do not have this setting here, you will get an error. But this time you see there is no import error. Let's convert the next one. Import cars from cars. And the last one, which is about data. Import data from dot slash data dot js. And get rid of this two line. You see, automatically server restart. At the end of this lesson, we incorporate Babel transpiler to our project and converted server.js from ES5 format to ES6. In the data.js, you need to convert module.export from this format to export default which is ES6 version of exporting stuff. As you see, the result is same because we are using ES6 version and Babel convert that to the ES5 that can be run on Node.js runtime. That's it for this lesson. For next lesson, we are going to focus on code linting. It means that when there is an error in your code, we are going to use ESLint to show that error and uh, let us to fix that and make our code clean and consistent. Until that lesson, bye-bye.